Rap, 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 ruff, ruff, ruff. My name is Brotos. And we're on Brotos TV and we're going to watch Zoke slash Sock in the blue corner. He's a Protoss. We're on Zolnaga Caverns and he's going to take on this Terran player, Roxkiss Bratok. Or Brat, okay, I don't know. I'm going to call him Bratok. So it's Bratok versus Sock. I'm almost certain that Sock is the wrong way to say it, but hell. It's the way it's going to be said, so you can deal with it. We are on Zelnaga Caverns. My personal favorite map? No. No, I'm wrong. Let's change my favorite map. I like this. I like uh, Shakaris Plateau a lot. And I really do like Metalopolis too. But I really... I, I think this is a great map. It's tough. When there's a Terran in the game and you get this, he gets this gold up, he says, I want to know where the gold at. I want the gold. Give me the gold. He gets a Planetary Fortress. Things can be really tough. And it's interesting, and that's kind of why I like the map, and also kind of why I hate it, because I think it's a little too, um, uh, what's the word? It, it's a little too gold-centric, this map. It's all about the gold. You know, there's not much a Terran can do. It's a Terran takes the gold, and if he keeps it, he wins. If he loses it, he loses the game. So it's interesting in that sense. There's a big key to fight over. Urgh, I want the gold. But on the other hand, it can lead to some um, some problems in terms of games kind of coming out always looking the same. But I definitely don't hate the map, and so I suppose, therefore, I must like it. Because I either love it or hate it. Uh, no, I don't hate it, so I must love it. Speaking of things that love, Bratok is not going to love. Oh, Probe's going to come in shoot a little bit on this SCV and try to recharge some shields before fighting again. Meantime, his opponent, Bratok, is going to try and get an SCV down to the base. He's going to succeed in doing that because the Protoss, of course, has very little recourse when it comes to getting a scout. This probe is going to bail as quickly as possible because he is in big trouble. This Marine can totally smash him with his machine gun. On the other hand, not really much you can do about an SCV scouting as a Protoss. It takes a Stalker to deal with it. And you can't get a Stalker until the core is done. And the core ain't done. So, it's about to finish. Pium. And now he's going to go for Warp Gate. He's probably going to get a Stalker as soon as he can. Which is now. For the moment, this Zealot is just going to run in circles. He's going to try and actually prevent the SCB from leaving. And he's going to Chrono Boost that Stalker. In the meantime, his opponent getting tech lab on his barracks and building a reaper from that barracks and he's going straight up command center so it's a quick expansion SCV bales quick expansion from the Terran meantime he didn't actually get a stalker he was getting a sentry I was a little bit sloppy there looks like he's going to expand he's getting a second gateway he's probably going to grab a third real quick he is there it is so he's going to grab that third gateway and go three gateway expand while Corona boosting the core. Walk gate's about half done. His opponent, on the other hand, getting that command center and getting two more barracks. And he is getting a stim pack, the most brutal upgrade in the game. Totally unstoppable. Marauders, Marines with stim. Here comes the Reaper. Too quick for you, probe. You're probably going to die. You are dead. Peace out. This Reaper's got total map control in this early part of the game. The command center is nearly done. Warp gate is done. The sentry is about to pop and then it will be three warp gates. Surely, 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 surely an expansion is coming soon. Three gateways are out. He's got 400 minerals saved up. And here it comes. Expansion. So, just as this command center is turning itself into an orbital. We see a Nexus go for the Protoss player. And this Reaper is in fact going to see it. I don't know if you know, but I'm doing some sick observer micro there with my left thumb. Nice, tidy little army of Marines and a Marauder. Protoss is in a supply lead at the moment. Oh, I'm yawning, it's late. Protoss got the supply lead. Let's see the income tab. We see Protoss has a four harvest lead. 
And this probe, what are you at? What are you doing, mate? He's mining, I think. No, he's gonna build some gas real soon. No, he's just wandering around, building our fourth gateway. Fifth gateway, in fact. Both guys are just taking a moment. Just gonna chill out. Got your expansion up, no need to go crazy. Just chill out, wait around a bit. Now, Bratok has almost no vision. This look at that. He sees the... I mean, he, he saw what that Reaper saw, but look, on the current map, he's got nothing, just about. His opponent also has pretty much no knowledge. He doesn't even know about the expansion. The Looks to me like he's going to find out soonish. What's he doing? Where are you going, mate? You going to the hallway? No, where are you going? I don't know. I do not know. He's going to build a proxy pylon almost surely. Just scouting a little bit, actually. So, he does have this watchtower, but that's all he has. He's got no knowledge. Bratok sees nothing. Zoke sees nothing. Pylon finally going up. And it's time for a push. Army size very even. Just a three food lead to the Protoss. Combat shield is just about done. It will be done in time. And a factory, too. Here comes... Oh, there's a lot of Marines and Marauders here, but there are a lot of sentries. Yowie. He's actually going to trap him, but not split him. And these sentries are going to go down real quick. But that Guardian Shield, combined with the Stalker's dominance against Marines, is enough. More Marauders would have probably done better, because Marauders just smush Stalkers so drastically. But as it was, it was heavy Marines. Marines just don't like Stalkers, and in particular, Marines really don't like the Guardian Shield. Because it, I mean... Guardian Shield takes damage off every hit, and the Marine doesn't do its damage. It doesn't do big damage, but it fires fast, so every single one of those very, very many shots it fires loses effect based on that Guardian Shield. So when a Marine fires and you've got Guardian Shield, you do so much... You, you take so much less damage, because he, he does a lot of small bits of damage, and every one of those gets affected by Guardian Shield. So Guardian Shield's super powerful against Marines. For the same reason, it's super powerful against something like a Mutalisk, which fires three times with every shot. As far as proportion of damage dealt, sort of, uh, the, the effect of the Guardian Shield. And the same goes for an armor upgrade against Marines. It's just so effective. I would definitely, as a Protoss playing Terran, definitely take armor ahead of attack. So he's killed this expansion. In the meantime, he is going to macro up real hard. He's got himself a forge. I don't know where it is. It's warping in, here it is, so there's your forge, and he's getting armor, just like I said, hey, I'm making myself look good. He's also getting the Robo Bay, which means he's going to be able to get Colossi from here, from this facility, and he is in fact just force fielding that ramp to keep his opponent honest, and he's also going to bail, so this sentry has room for two more force fields, but this SCV has actually escaped. But this force field is going to remain just for long enough, and these guys can't actually leave the base because there are no medevacs right yet. Right yet. There are no medevacs right yet. Two more barracks. Barrack. Barrackses. There's my phone. Two more barracks on the way, and he's going to go for the double medevac action. His opponent, though. Getting Colossi and Thermal Lance. So, Nightmare. You're going to have to make that call, bro. You've got a starport with reactor. Are you going to get Fe uh, phoenixes? He's not going to get phoenixes. Are you going to get medevacs to heal your bros? Or are you going to get phoenix to deal with those oh-so-deadly colossi? His opponent's just moving. Everyone's moving, actually. Still heavy marines. Heavy marines, despite this serious sentry stalker composition. There's actually quite a lot of zealots in there, I must say. But the sentries deal with marines with a great deal of power. And there's a Colossus already out. And one more on the way. And Thermal Lance half done. Half done. Just half. Armor plus one is going to finish real soon. But both guys are just going to bail. Just bailing out. Two base versus two base. But the Protoss, of course, has a kind of better economy on the count of... He denied this base for a long time, forcing him to float back home, and then float back out. Here comes though, a serious drop, and this can do a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. He's got some stalkers and zealots waiting, but this is two medevacs 
full of marines with two marauders, I think. Yes, two marauders and six marines each, which is a whole lot if you're not ready for it. And here they come. They are a coming. Now, is he going to see? Research complete. Is he going to see? Oh, they're just waiting. Oh, made a fool out of me. Gonna go for these rockies, I think. Go for the rocks. Kill them real quick. They were half dead. So, I want to know where the gold at, he says, and it looks like his opponent, Bratog, is gonna say something similar. No, he is not. He's gonna say, I want to know where the pile on at. And then, he is going to leave. Leave, leave the pile on. He's going to leave the pile on. But here comes that drop. Nexus going down. Uh oh. Big fight coming. Drop is not going to be dealt with very easily, but here comes the fight. SCB is going to take a pounding. Too many Colossi. Too many force fields. A couple of Vikings. Not enough. This drop, though, doing serious, serious damage. Unpowering gateways. Looks like we're in for a bit of a base trade here. He's got nothing left but Vikings and a few Marauders. Those Vikings are going to go down, though, in the face of those Stalkers. And looks like he is going to clean up the drop with a Colossus and a few Stalkers back at the base. So, I'm sensing a Protoss win here. Oh, a conga line of SCV is going to come out and just get roasted by that Thermal Lance. Bunce, 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 you are dead and GG. So, Bratov, GG's out. Zoka wins. Sock wins. The drop came just a little too late. If he had dropped a little sooner, I think he could have bought a little more time. Stop this army from advancing. But I think the writing was on the wall once this came in, once this sentry pressure came in and this army, these armies traded here and it was such a massive loss for the Terran. He lost his expansion, he lost so much econ, and by the time they fought it was three colossi to basically bugger all. So well done to Sark, he wins and we're going to go on to game two.